Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Joyce, co-founder and tech lead at Geonidium. I'm a biographer for Mother Earth. I tell stories of ecosystems and how things change over time. And I use drones and satellites as my scientific illustrators. One of the stories I've been working on for the past 20 years now is to try to find out how much live coral we have on the Great Barrier Reef. Because believe it or not, we actually don't know. We know a lot about really small areas thanks to decades of work by scientists in the field. And we know a little bit about large areas thanks to satellites. There's many, many gaps in between. It turns out that it's a similar story for many of Mother Earth's ecosystems. And there are many others like me around the world trying to answer similar questions in the ecosystems that they're passionate about. But the biographies don't stop there. Drone technology is changing the way we map, monitor, and ultimately understand our local ecosystems. Consumer grade drones, just like this one, are now in the hands of hundreds of thousands of people globally. But what of their drone mapping data? While they may hold the key to unlocking some of our most intractable climate challenges, these data are on treasure troves of computer hard drives and USB sticks scattered around the world awaiting discovery. Until we bring together all the threads of data, it will be like reading Mother Earth's biography, but with every second page missing. That's why I created GeoNadir. Geo means Earth, and Nadir means to look directly down. This is the angle that we use when we're drone mapping. So GeoNadir is literally the Earth from above. We provide a safe storage house for everyone's drone mapping data, but we don't keep it under lock and key. We work to be fair, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. And we provide opportunities for our analytical powerhouse colleagues to use the data for environmental products, services, and insights. Together, we're working towards ensuring that our land and sea managers are able to make data-driven decisions for the future sustainability of our planet. Because we all want every chapter in Mother Earth's biography to have a happy ending. Thanks so much for listening to my story. I hope you can help us make a world of difference.